but we've got a lot to talk about because yeah. there's so many angles to it this is. story that need to be covered. Let's start tonight with a friend here to DMV Zone, sports analyst Eric Mitchell. Eric, good hey. to see you. Uh, you, I'm sure, watched this. If you didn't watch it live, like much of the country, you've seen it a thousand times, unfortunately. Uh, first, your immediate thoughts after witnessing the play. Did you think much other of it once he collapsed on the ground? Actually, I was thinking more concussion, right, with Tua, who right. just went down with another concussion just a few days ago, and here we are. That's what I instantly thought, but it didn't look right. Like, almost instantly it happened. I went, oh, concussion. But then I looked at it, and the way the Bills bench and a player that was about five feet away from him. And again, thank you for not showing that video. It's just horrible and horrifying to watch, so I'm glad that you're not showing it. But just the reaction of the players, it was different. You see a lot of injuries watching football obviously and being involved in the sport this was different and uh, the only word i have is shook that's what i told my wife yeah. instantly when it happened it didn't feel right no i i think when we knew something was wrong is when the network refused to show what was happening on the field they yeah. kept going into commercials it was 10 minutes in and we knew that they were still working on him on the field they hadn't even moved him from the field to take him to the hospital that's because so the situation scary. was so dire yeah. at the moment do you recall anything else because we've seen spinal injuries we've certainly seen players sadly and unfortunately paralyzed from their play on the nfl out on the gridiron but anything to this degree where essentially this person is brought back to life before an entire stadium full of fans. Absolutely, I've never seen anything. And this is the field just eight short weeks ago that Tua was knocked out and had that horrible concussion where his hands did that, whatever that was. Yeah. Uh, so that brought back memories, but it was watching the head coach of the Bills. He was saying a prayer, which mm -hmm. was weird for the cameras to catch it, but you could watch what he was saying. He was praying, and I was like, oh, my goodness. I looked at my wife and was like, that's not good. And then they panned over to Josh Allen, and it was his reaction and cry the way he was crying, hands over his face. It was bigger than just the normal injuries we've seen. And I hate that we're downplaying somebody being paralyzed or a concussion, but this was different. And when Joe Buck came back on and said, they've been performing CPR, that's why we keep pulling away. I said, oh, my goodness, that's yeah. completely different. But kudos to the players for forming that human shield. If you remember just a few short mm -hmm. years ago at a World Cup game, uh, I believe a player's last name was Erickson. I could not pronounce his first name. He collapsed with a heart condition also. They formed this human shield yeah. basically to protect his dignity Why they yeah. were doing what they were doing. Uh, I couldn't imagine being in the stands. From what I've heard, the Bengal fans are second to none, actually consoling Buffalo Bill fans in the Incredible. stands up front. You see men like Stefan Diggs. I mean, yeah. these are just like tough, tough guys and just could you, not control their emotions. But you, you don't know what to make dire. of it. If Absolutely. You, when you see it happen, you have no, it, it's like the worst thing that you could imagine as a player happening in front of you. Like, oh, no, 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 yeah. no. And then, yeah, the emotions are going to come out Without right there in front of everyone. And then you saw... Joey, when they came back and they said the five minutes thing, which we were like, five minutes, seriously? Yeah. When they put the camera on Joey Burrow and then they put the camera on Josh, I said these guys aren't going back on the field. No they way. did not look like the they were even The emotions too high, there. absolutely. And right. we see that it, until now, we don't even know when this game will be replayed, but we know uh, postponed indefinitely at this mm -hmm. hour. Eric Mitchell, we appreciate you coming on and walking us through uh, last night.